Hi, I'd like to give you a brief overview on polymer recycling. So a little reminder on polymers. Uh, this is where you have a base unit, a monomer, and we just connect those monomers with a covalent bond. Uh, some of those characteristics of polymers is that they're very strong, they're durable, um, and they have a low reactivity. So in, in industry, that's fabulous. We really like polymers because they're so durable. However, for the environment, sometimes that can be problematic. Uh, when we put these polymers into the environment, they do not degrade easily. And so they end up in the landfill. I have a couple of statistics for you. It's estimated that 11% of all of our landfills are going to be a polymer product. And 30% of those landfill polymers come from packaging materials. So there's one way right away that we could um, amend uh, the landfill is looking at our packaging. How can we decrease the amount of polymers that we use in packaging or decrease the packaging that we use? Uh, now, recycling responsibly, recycling these polymers is an excellent way for us to care for the environment, still use these polymers because they have increased the quality of life for humans. We just have to be responsible with them and that falls in recycling. Uh, most polymers can fall into one of six categories. Now there's thousands of different polymers, but majority of them will fall into one of six categories. And we give those codes one through six. The lower the number, the easier it, it is to recycle. For example, a one is abbreviation is PET, and that stands for a polyethylene terephthalate. The hardest one to recycle, its code is PS, and that's going to be polystyrene. So just a brief overview on polymer recycling that we can all do our part in um, taking what we've done in chemistry and then use it responsibly um, for our industrial human uses as well as the environment. Have a good day and thanks for being here. Hit the like button if this is helpful. Thanks.